Hi there, Gemini. Welcome to your November room scope. Um, November 2013, I guess I should say. Um, there may be other years up here <laughs> at some point. <laughs> Make sure you're watching the right month for the right year. Um, as always, be sure to watch the video for your rising sign as well. That can give you a bit more information on certain things. Someone was asking if you can watch your moon sign as well. Yes, absolutely. That can give you, um, uh, that will be a look more at your emotional uh, well-being, what's going on with you emotionally, what's going on, you look, kind of like your inner world um, is what your moon sign can tell you. Um, so you can definitely watch that if you normally do. Um, I normally watch sun sign and rising sign. I haven't ever found my moon sign to be all that accurate. That could just be me. If you have, uh, by all means, whatever helps is kind of the, the, uh, the name of the game. So uh, definitely do that. If you would like something even more specific, you can schedule a private consultation with me on Skype. Um, it's $65 for half an hour. Just drop me uh, a line at the email address below this video to set up an appointment for that. And let's get into November for you, Gemini, and see what's up with you. Um, there seems to be a delay for you around a new beginning in November, Gemini. There may be some conflict from the past that's kind of standing in the way of you moving forward. And I think we had a similar theme for you either last month or in September, Gemini. It's just um, you're trying to move on from something, but you just feel stuck in some way. Um, you know, and I, I it's just going to take time. And I think once you finally start to move forward and take steps to move forward, you're going to be moving forward in less than a year's time. So, you know, by this time next year, I think you're going to be in a very different place. If you can, like I said before, I think just take baby steps. Do whatever you can to move on from the past because the past for whatever reason is the past it's no longer relevant look at today look at tomorrow what do you want to what do you want to be doing today what do you want to be doing tomorrow the past doesn't matter it's gone you can't change it so november if you can just start thinking more in that way gemini i think it's going to kind of help you get unstuck or feel unstuck and move on to a new beginning because I think you have a feeling intuitively that this new beginning is going to be pretty awesome that you have a lot of awesome things waiting for you if you could just kind of get your get your feet moving get yourself moving in that direction um, for some of you in November you may be working with someone else on a new beginning in their life so somebody you know may be getting married you may be helping them maybe you're in the wedding you're helping them plan a wedding or maybe somebody is pregnant so you're planning a shower for them um, honestly this is something you're not going to be all that excited about doing because it's a lot of work <laughs> if this is how this is working out for you um, in your life it could it could be somebody else's joy and you're having to do all the kind of hard work <laughs> So some of you may be less than thrilled with that. Um, some of you may be less than thrilled with uh, um, the de decisions someone in your family has made recently regarding a new beginning in their life again. Um, for some of you, if it's not your new beginning, that is uh, the focus. It could be someone else's that you're kind of um, reacting to. So... That'll be the challenge in November is just getting moving forward or, or um, moving forward to help someone else move forward. But all about new beginnings in November, whether they be yours or someone else's. And, and how to kind of, what's the best way to kind of move that forward. Don't go after somebody who doesn't, Don't pursue something that is not right. Don't go after somebody who has not, um, who's not worth it, who has made it very evident that they are not worth it. If, if you are in a situation where you're pursuing someone who is constantly either putting you off, not showing up, um, letting you down, hiding things from you, don't waste any more time on this. I mean, you're again, just kind of putting off this new beginning if you're, if you're in that sort of situation. For some of you, some you may uh, something may come out in November. Some secret may be revealed about someone in your life. This is, um, you know, it's going to take you by surprise. I don't think it's going to be a happy secret. 
Some of you, this may come as in the form of gossip, but maybe a group of people talking about someone that you know or someone that you're dating, someone that you're close to. And, you know, some of this may be true and some of this may not be true. I don't know that all of it's true, but there's an element of, of truth. So you're going to maybe need to investigate this, depending on how close you are to this person. If it's just awesome gossip, office gossip about someone that you all work with, you know, and not somebody you're involved with or close with, it just may be shocking. But I mean, not really affect you in any way. Um, kind of put off reacting now until you have all of the information in November, because there's, you're missing all, some of the pieces. So if you kind of, if somebody says, oh, you know, I saw your boyfriend out the other night with someone else, or, you know, I, um, maybe it's not your boyfriend, maybe it's somebody in your family. I saw your brother who's married out with some other chick, or your friend who's married out with some other, uh, some other woman. Um, yeah, investigate this. Get more information. Because you don't have it all yet. So before you confront whoever this is in your life, look into it a little bit more. The help you're going to receive is that I, you're going to be very positive about money. So there's going to be maybe a raise or a bonus for those of you who have, th who have this have to situation, this have to new beginning is you looking for a job. Um, you may very well find a great opportunity in November. So get out there definitely if you are in need of work and need to be, uh, to be um, you know, getting employed as soon as possible that and that can be a drag too that could definitely be something that you feel like you have to do that you don't want to do looking for a job that is a full-time job in and of itself but it'll be worth it um so financially things are going to be going really great for you in november gemini i mean you're going to have money to um do your shopping if you want to get a jump on holiday shopping you're going to be able to kind of get that out of the way um, and for some of you, this will just be a bonus, maybe an unexpected bonus, an unexpected raise um, that you'd be very happy about. Um, it'll definitely enable you to purchase something that will make you very happy. So ladies, maybe you can get that handbag you've had your eye on. Guys, maybe you can get that new video game you've been wanting to play or that new game system that you want. Maybe even a new car for some of you. So yeah, there will be some sort of something financial in November that will make you very happy. So, with, you know, if it's not just the money, it's a purchase that maybe you've been saving up for for a while that will alleviate some of this frustration and some of this ug, some of this ugginess of November will be alleviated by, uh, by money or a purchase of some sort. What has to be accepted about November, which what you can kind of can't change is that <laughs> romantically things may not be going the way that you want them to. Maybe things are a little stifled. Maybe things are at a standstill in that part of your life. Um, you may feel just kind of raw in that area of your life. Maybe like I you know, this is not going well, or if you're in a relationship that's not going well, but at the same time, you by all means don't want to start over with somebody else. So you may be vacillating over what to do in November about that area of your life. And I feel like this is more um, if, you're, if you're single. Um, or just in like a, a, or just seeing someone or just in a, a romantic relationship and not married. Those of you who are married, you may just be going through a, a slow period in, your, in the marriage. <laughs> may need to rejuvenate that a little bit. Figure out a way to uh, put some excitement back into the relationship. Um, by the end of November, Gemini... I do feel like you will be able to talk to this person who has been causing you all this frustration. But I don't think you're going to get the answers that you want or the answers that you need, unfortunately. 
What you will get, though, is, is even more evidence that this person needs to be in your past. You need to get away from this person. Their purpose, ha they have served their purpose, whoever this is. Whatever they were supposed to do in your life is done. There's no forward movement from here. So the longer you keep kind of spinning your wheels here, um, the longer you're putting off this new beginning that you know, that you feel is in your future. So put it in perspective that way, Gemini. A lot of you will be going home for Thanksgiving. I feel like you'll be around your family and, and you'll be able to be rejuvenated, some of you. Um, just you'll feel better. You'll be able to talk about what's been going on with somebody. Uh, some of you will be able to talk and share with somebody who's close to you and your family about things that have been going on with you. Because um, I feel like a lot of people don't know. You've kind of kept, kept this hidden maybe because it makes you feel vulnerable because you, you, you know, you feel like you were made vulnerable in this relationship and taken advantage of some of you. And you'll be sharing this with um, someone in your family. But definitely, if you can, go home for, for Thanksgiving for those of you who celebrate that in November. And, um, and for those of you who don't, just kind of uh, figure out a way to spend some time with someone in your family that you're close to or a close friend. And, uh, you know, just maybe have a friend over for coffee or dinner or something so you can kind of chat. Because I feel like you need to vent and sort of get these things off your chest. Um, you're really going to need to talk about things. And talking about it will put it in perspective for you. Hearing yourself say the things will kind of wake you up in some way. Having to express something and say, yeah, he did this and then he did this. Or, yeah, she said this and then she did this. And then the other person's going to be like, why are you even... You know, why, why are you putting up with this? Or why are you still going through this? Why are you putting yourself through this? Because you are Gemini and in, in a way putting yourself through this same pain over and over and over again in some area of your life. For a lot of you, again, I feel like this is uh, an emotional relationship. So you need to move on from this. You need to get out of this situation, put it behind you, do whatever you have to do to put it behind you so that you can move on to a fulfilling relationship. Because until that area is vacant, nothing new can come in. And when it's all tied up in this negativity, um, there's no room for something new to come in and grow and flourish. So I, I think by the end of November, you will be ready for that or at least feel like you can move forward in some way, even if it's a small way. Um, that's going to be the best way to start off 2014 because you don't want to carry this into 2014. Definitely you want to lose it. So that gives you two months, Gemini, to, to, to lose this negativity, to lose this person, you know. And I, I, for some of you, it's a male. For some of you, it's a female. So guys, I mean, this does apply to you too. Anybody who's using you, um, taking advantage of you, draining your energy, draining your resources in any way, now's the time to start taking steps to cut that tie. And that means, you know, not calling the person anymore. That means not talking to the person anymore. That means going dark. That means you're done. Tie is severed. Tie is severed. They don't have a direct line to you anymore. They can't take advantage of you or suck your energy. You, you're no longer there for their drama. Okay, if they want to live in a drama-filled life, because what I see around this person is just drama. That's the way they like their life. They fill their life with that. It makes them feel like they're in their own version of, I guess, you know, General Hospital or something. Or all my children pick this up up right of your choice. But this person thrives on that kind of situation. And Gemini, I think you've had your fill of it. You've had your fill of it, and it's time for you to move on to something that is rewarding to someone who's going to get back to you. So that is what I see for November, Gemini. Good luck with that. There's a lot of work to be done, but you can do it. You can do it. You, you feel the goodness that's waiting for you. So let that be your beacon. Go toward that. Follow that feeling. Follow that good feeling. Because it, it will be yours in 2014 if you start taking steps now to leave the past in the past. Don't let it keep creeping up into your present. Put it where it belongs. 
So um, good luck with that, Gemini. Um, I hope you do have a lovely, thing, a lovely Thanksgiving if you celebrate the holiday. If not, I hope you're just um, enjoying fall or November, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you again in December.